How often have people with open marriages have been in your office? Well, let's see, and this is one of those like, from a research perspective, this would be flawed because I see the, they're in my office because their marriage is falling apart. Yeah. So there may be lots of people having open relationships that don't end up in a divorce lawyer's office, so I'd never meet them. Yeah. But I meet a lot of people that that was the Hail Mary pass. Sure. Like I meet a lot of people that they tried that, but it, in retrospect, it was a Hail Mary pass. Yeah. It was like, uh, look, we've just figured let's try this. You know, like maybe yeah. it's, maybe this'll, this'll keep the glue together on this thing, you know? And, and, um, and I've also seen open, open relationships go wrong, you know, where we agree we're just going to have sexual connections with other people, or we're going to bring other people into the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Um, but together, like we're going to be together with other people or with another person. And then the, the connection of those two people, like, it, you, you think it's a soulmate all of a sudden now. And it goes in this other, because, and again, is that novelty? Is that, like, it's the reason why I don't understand why people have threesomes. It's kind of like, you know, when someone sings to you, I don't know where to look. Like, I don't know where to look. Like, if someone's singing to me, yeah. I don't know where to look. Like, it feels weird, right? Yeah. Like, this is a conundrum I have. This is, <laughs> no, this. <laughs> uh, I'll say this yeah. too. This will never. But yeah. I, it's the reason I can't go to strip clubs. Yeah. I don't know where to look. Like, if I go to a strip club, you know, like, you go to a strip club and, and there, there's, you know, the part where they, the woman's on the stage and she walks past each person and she does a yeah. little thing and then next person and then next yeah. little thing. So when she's right in front of you, I like a woman's face and I like a woman's body. I like both of them. So I'm looking at the woman's face and she's very beautiful, but she's naked. And I think, oh, she's naked. I should be looking at her naked body because obviously that's like, it's almost rude not to because she's naked in front of me, well, of course. So then I'm looking at her naked body, which is lovely to look at. But then I find myself going, oh my God, you're just still, like, you should look at her face for God's sake. Yeah. And then I'm looking at her face and, and find myself having yeah. this whole thing in my head where I'm going like, oh my God, where am I supposed to look? So I think a threesome with two women you don't hardly know or you're not, that's different. Mm -hmm. But a threesome with a long-term partner mm -hmm. who you're in a relationship with mm -hmm. and a new person seems to me a very dangerous ground because you're going to want to enjoy the novelty of this new person, but you're going to have to spend time with this person after. Mm -hmm. So... How much attention do you spend to the new novel exciting thing without creating the impression that you don't, you're not interested in this? Because you want, you're my favorite person, but this is fun. So I want to just try this for a few, but then also I don't want to forget about that. Like it, it just seems tricky. That analogy, by the way, is brilliant. And, and also I guess it's tricky because the consequences of mistakes are quite high because you're going to have to talk about it. Right, and there's a there's an easy way to misinterpret the data, right? Like, so if I'm, if I really like sleeping with my partner, but I get one chance to sleep with this other person, like, well, of course I should indulge in that because I can do this anytime. Like, what did you yeah. know? But but this person, my partner, might interpret that as, oh, so you're more interested in her than me because that voice in in my partner that would be you know, insecure might hear that, you know? So I, I just, why would you even, why would you open yourself up to that level of chaos? You seem to love chess in the courtroom. So it's a kind of uh, intimate yeah, human chess of sorts. Yeah, no, that's that's too high risk. How do we get on threesomes? Oh, open uh, open marriages. Well, we got, how do we get on threesomes? I don't know. I always wonder how people get on threesomes. Um, I, I figure they like, if one is fun, two must be better. If two is better, three must be better. Um, yeah, I, th I think we, we, the way that, that this becomes an issue is why would you have a non-monogamous relationship? It, it, what is it about your sex life with this person that's not satisfying? And I think that that is the question that's harder to ask yourself and to try to answer with your partner.